Okay, here's a follow-up to my last video that I simply called the simple motor. And there's the simple motor running. And uh, it was uh, one of these videos where I was trying to show that you could uh, uh, have one of these little uh, motors running looking like it wasn't being fed with any power. And I used a supercapacitor that was filled up and I used a transformer and a light that made it look like I was getting energy from that. But it was just trying to show uh, one of the methods that's used on these fake videos. But this is not a fake video. This is uh, one way to, to run a pulse motor wirelessly. Here's the circuit diagram. And I'm just calling this the uh, wireless simple motor. And what I'm using is a cell phone charger, a wireless cell phone charger. Under that plastic board is the cinder unit, and then uh, underneath the uh, prototype board is the pickup coil, and it operates right through the plastic right here. And it's just a very, very simple pulse motor. I've got a diode here um, between the pickup coil and the main circuit uh, to drop the voltage from the 5 voltage volts down, and also as a protection dock diode, and then a little smoothing capacitor. The reason I've got this here is, is I'm going to show other capacitors you could put in there, including a capacitor that looks like a normal electrolytic, but it's a super cap that will draw the energy out there, store it, and then run the pulse motor. This is all the pulse motor is. There's nothing fancy. It's a coil of wire, a reed switch with a trigger magnet stuck to the steel coat hanger shaft on the rotor. And uh, this is the date today. It's the 23rd of April, 2016. And you can see the little motor here running. And see those lights right there? That's what there is right there. That's uh, with the lid off of it. But that's the wireless cell phone charger. And this is the power source. That's what it's drawn right there. And if you were going to fake a video, this would be a very easy way to do it. Is you just put that underneath something and you have little marks on your board so that you know where to put your device See if I can get this to go again here and let me see if I can get this to go there we go it's uh there it is right there you know and, and like I say if this was under an opaque board or something you would uh, think that this thing is running on its own but really underneath this is the pickup coil and there's the wireless cell phone charger pickup coil and you can very easily hide that in in a device um, now the other thing was if I take this little tiny electrolytic off of here and get it out and I put one of these other capacitors and look at all these capacitors this looks like the biggest one but it's really, this is the one here. It looks like a, just a medium-sized one. And I stick that in there. And I put this back over the magic spot. And I turn it on. Now what's happening is this is feeding more energy into that capacitor than the motor's running with. And now you got something you can walk around with and you can show people that you got a wireless automatic running motor that's just running on a capacitor when really all that is is it was picking up energy from uh, another source using induction that was pumping energy into that capacitor and it was a super capacitor not not just an electrolytic anyway this is a, a very interesting uh, what I would call an illusion and um, it's it's one way to make something look like it's running on free energy but it's really uh, picking up uh, energy through a surface using induction thanks for watching they're probably